What if I grew my hair? What if I was more careful? Would you? Well, it had been three years since I'd released Keep a Fire, which, um, you know, I'd been touring that album and just playing so many shows, and so I, and I realized, oh my gosh, you know, it's been three years. And um, I had met Jim, and we didn't really know each other. We were both at a folk festival uh, summer of 2014 called Summer Folk, and we were backstage, and I don't know, who was playing and what was going on, but it was in the evening, and um, we were just kind of casually talking, and then Amanda just kind of threw up the idea of if I'd be interested in working on a couple songs or something like that, and I was like, yeah, anything you like, I'd be happy to try it out, and so then she sort of, you know, started with Toes in the Water, and we worked on a couple songs, and then um, decided it was going pretty good, so we, uh, Ended up doing the whole, the whole, uh, the whole shebang. Keep a fire was really about uh, stories about where I came from, you know, family stories. So stories my grandfather had told me and uh, different family members, and it was almost like a research, you know, looking back into sort of where I came from and then this album Holding Patterns is really about me you know and about what I've kind of gone through for the last couple of years and realizations about myself and different you know relationships in my life um, and uh, so content wise I'd say that's the difference and it felt like a natural progression you know where did I come from and, and what does that mean for me now? Recorded it at uh, in Bath, Ontario, at the Tragically Hip Studio, and I think we spent like five or six days there. And then we did a bunch of little stuff at my studio, and then mixed most of it there. And then a couple songs got mixed in Toronto. I mean, Jim just has this ability to get sounds and presence and rawness that I love, and I'd say that you know, sonically that the album is definitely different and a bit more maybe pop and kind of more raw in a way. cool things about this album that I'd never done before um, was perform with a band in the studio. So we went to the bathhouse and you know we were all set up in our own stations and we actually played the songs live together. I really liked the way it developed super organically. It was there was not a lot of pre-production involved. We just kind of went in there and um, just felt the songs out. A big chunk of all these songs are from the four of us and the five, even Jim too, you know, sometimes the five of us all playing at the same time. Um, you know, and everyone on the album, you know, Peter and Anna and Anders, Jim, I mean, Blair Hogan's on the record too, Steve Mariner, uh, there's just, you know, the tons of different people, but it just all felt like the right combination of styles and, and uh, it was really fun to do it live. Man. 